the big game is back tomorrow. It's Celtic against Rangers. It's the old. Thanks for that, Gizmo. I'll start that again. So, it's the big game tomorrow. It's Celtic against Rangers. It's the old firm League Cup final. Rangers, of course, in search of their first trophy. Well, big domestic trophy, should I say, since 2011. That's right. Celtic in search of their first domestic trophy since winning the league last year. Winning eight in a row. Winning the treble, treble. I'm not going to get too much ahead of myself though because although in this prediction video you will see my view in the game, I might come across as bias. I don't know, but it's all about opinions. It's going to be a tough game. It's going to be the toughest old fun game we've had in ages. As much as Celtic are a good bit ahead still, Rangers are not too far behind. As much as I believe that although Rangers are starting to catch up, Celtic are still going to keep pushing forward and still be that extra gap. Regardless of how better Rangers get, Celtic will still be that extra wee bit ahead for years to come. That's not taking away the fact that this game is going to be very hard, very difficult. Not just for Rangers, but for Celtic. It's going to be difficult for both teams, especially coming off a to risky results just midweek there. Uh, Celtic edging it against Hamilton at home, conceding in the 90th minute to make it one each and then to get a goal within a minute. Scott Brown, the captain, of course, st step up to the occasion, which is what you want for your captain and what you want for the team, just to prove they need that win. They'll find a way to get it, even when they get put down a wee step, they'll st stand up two steps. That was a good wee phrase. And Aberdeen, of course, Sorry, should I say Rangers getting a result against Aberdeen away, but two each from 2-0 up. Uh, two, not, two goals up in the game to concede two goals. It's a bit risky as well. Edward seems to be back as well. That was the biggest worry for Celtic fans, but it looks like he's back in fit, ready for the game, which is a major boost. So talking in the game, going up to the game, both teams have been playing great football, great results. Apart from the midweek game, don't get me wrong, Celtic won, still a good result. But performance-wise, wasn't the greatest of performances, let's be honest. Rangers, of course, as well, had a good performance against Aberdeen, but then they let themselves slip up, end up finishing the game to each, dropping two valuable points in the league, of course. I'm not taking it away that it's a hard game, of course, going to Aberdeen away, but come on. These were two goals up. My prediction... Due to Celtic always finding a way to get the result, uh, personally, and especially having Edward back is vital. My, pre my prediction is going to be Celtic 3, Rangers 0. It's, it's a tough game, but I think Celtic with Edward back, having the most positive of results, should go into this game storming, especially with Edward back, that extra fire force. Because we've been dominating games and the reason we just edged it against Hamilton is because we played without a natural striker. That's where our current instinct was not there. But with Edward back, changes things up a wee bit. Guys, please like and subscribe. Put your comments below as well for your opinions on the game, what your predictions are. Uh, as I said, this is just my prediction. But please subscribe also. Keep up to date with the channel. Thank you.